Hey guys, welcome to the 86th C-Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add another form to your application. So up until now, we've mainly been working with code and we haven't really looked too much at um, creating a user interface. So in these next uh, following tutorials, we're mainly going to be looking at uh, creating a user interface. And to kick it off, we're going to be creating another form. So I'm sure you've seen with other programs that like when you click a button or do something, another form will pop up and you'll have more options or something. Well, all we've been doing is we just have this one form right here. There, there is no other form. This is all we have to our program. Well, in order to add another form, you're going to want to go up to Project, Add Windows Form. Then just make sure Windows Form is selected and you can name your form anything you'd like. I'm just going to call it Form 2 for right now, and then just go ahead and click Add. And over in your Solution Explorer, you'll see you now have a Form 1 and a Form 2, or whatever you named your second form. And we also have a nice design window with our Form 2, and we can do anything we want with this second form, just like with this main form right here. So if we wanted to add like a button or a checkbox or anything, I'm just going to add a label for right now. And I'm just going to set the text of this label to form2, just so we know that this is form2, even though it says form2 right there. But anyways, so now, as of now, we cannot display this form. There's no way to access this form from the first form right now. Like, no matter what we do, no other form will be displayed. And in order to display the second form, we're going to have to create a new instance of this form. And in order to do that, we're going to have to go over to View, Code, and this will just show the code for the, this uh, form right here. And as you can see, the class is called Form2. So in order to um, now uh, access this form, we're going to have to create a new instance of Form2. So on button one click, we want to um, display the second form. So it's going to be Form2. We're going to give a name to it. I'll just call it F. Set it equal to a new form2. And now the method that we're going to be using in order to um, display the form is called show. And show will just display the form. So it's going to do F.show. So now when we click this button up here, we should get our second form. And again, what we're doing right here is we're creating a new instance of this form. And that's the class right here. And then we're just using the uh, show method in the form class to display it. And it inherits from this uh, form class right here. And that's just in the uh, form class. So now when we click um, button one, we should just get the second form. Yep, we have two forms right here. We have our form two label. So there's also another method in the form class called show dialog. And I'm going to show you the difference between the two. Now, if you just do show, go up here, you can move in between these two forms freely. There's no error or anything. Well, if you do show dialog, it disables that. You cannot, um, now you cannot go in between the two forms. If you try to do that, it'll just make like a little sound. Yeah, now we can only do things inside of this form. And Usually, you're probably going to want to have show dialog, but depending on what you're doing, um, it depends. So it's good to know both of those. So as of right now, um, these two classes are completely separate. This form 1 and this form 2. Well, say we want to um, use a string from this class, or yeah, this class right here, and use it in this class. Well, in order to do that, we can just pass a method through the constructor and form2 right here, this is the constructor. So if we wanted to pass a string variable through right here, we just call it, we just do string, call it my string. Now it will just pass a string variable through this uh, form2 class. And now when we go back here, it now calls for a string. Well, I'm just going to create um, a text box. Um, right, right here. And Basically, what it will do now is it will take the text from this text box and pass it into form2, the constructor right here. So we're just going to pass in text box one's text. And then we're going to take the text from this text box and set it equal to the text of this label. So now what we're going to do up here is we're just going to do 
label one dot text equals my string. And that's whatever we pass in the constructor right here. And we pass through text box one's text. So what it will do when we click this button is it will create a new instance of this form class. And as soon as it does that, it will set um label one's text on form two to the string that it passes in the constructor, which is text box one's text, and then it will display the form. So as soon as we click this button right here, we should get um a new form with um, a label on it saying whatever's in this text box. So I'll just type Adam right here. It should be the form that says Adam. Yep, we get Adam. Type something else like um, hello. We should get hello. Yep. So that's just a real uh, quick and simple way of passing variables to your second form. And you can um, put multiple through here, like if you wanted to put, like, uh, I don't know. Um, you know, an integer or something like that, you could do that as well. There's, there's no limit, just like any other constructor. So that's it for this tutorial on um, forms. So, see you guys.